Hello all, this is an update on the uh, Chinese lathe. I put the video up a few weeks ago. I'll give you a bit of a run through on what I've done with it uh, in the last few weeks. So, first things I've uh, modified the guard underneath and put a shelf in there so I can store the various bits of equipment underneath. We've put the digital readouts on which I'll zoom in on and we'll have a look at a bit more later. I've done a couple of little modifications uh, on the tailstock, which uh, again I'll show you a bit later. And we've put the quick change tool post on, and we've done a couple of modifications um, inside the, on the gear train for the change wheels. Um, nothing too difficult. And we've got an inverter on it as well now for variable speed. So I will now go and uh, have a play with the tailstock. Here we are. I've taken the tailstock off and put it on the bench. And problem was the tailstock was slipping under heavy drilling. And this seems to be due to the clamping plate uh, swinging a bit like a pendulum underneath. As it, uh, if you slide the tailstock forwards, the plate dragged and it didn't clamp nice and vertical. So if you look, I'll try and zoom in on that. In there, no, it's not very clear, is it? Let's come back a bit. I put a nylon bush temporarily over the bolt just to hold this piece and stop it pendulum in side to side. And that seems to have uh, cured the problem for that one. The other thing I've noticed is there's no, um, tang housing inside the tailstock so you've got to make sure your tapers are clean so your drills don't slip. I may well do a modification on that later so put a couple of pins or pegs through the barrel to lock the uh, the, the taper tooling in, stop it rotating. Okay looking at the cross slide here I put the transducer on for the uh, cross slide measurement and it needs a little bit more work, but we put a little nylon bush in, if I can zoom in on that, there to try and stop the tailstock ramming into the transducer, give it a bit of protection. It does need a, another piece screwed to the bottom of the tailstock in order to, to work properly, so that's still another job, but outstanding. I also put a couple of longer screws in in the cross slide housing there. No particular problem, but uh, just I thought they needed a few more threads engaged in the casting. Okay, looking at the change gears, they didn't seem to line up particularly well, so I noticed there was a couple of steel spacers behind the gears, one on that shaft, one on the idler gear there. Just machined uh, a mill, mill and a half off each of them so that the gears line up a little better. Nothing too difficult to do there. Okay, on the left hand end of the gearbox here, the screw cutting gearbox, there was a little oil drip coming out from one of the, the plugs, so a little bit of uh, paint over the end seems to have cured that one. Okay, tucked around the back here, I've put the inverter in its own steel cabinet. Okay, it's a bit of a pain to get to it. Uh, if anything goes wrong, I need to um, move the machine away from the wall a bit. But uh, it's out of the way. And hopefully we won't have to do that too frequently. Up here we've got the master electrical stop switch isolator that controls the mains coming in. Right, we release the emergency stop, start the inverter going, and wait for the fans in the inverter to start up and we're away. So normal switch on the saddle controls which I'm operating with here with forwards and reverse and also we've got the potentiometer for variable speed 
So for me, this is quite good for screw cutting where you want to cut up to a shoulder and you can just inch the chuck round on a low speed very slowly. One last little bit at the moment on the chip tray. I put a couple of little bolts just tapped into the upstands on the left and right just so that when you push the tray back it's got something firm to butt up against. So you just push it in and it's automatically in the right position. It didn't take uh, more than 10 minutes to do but it does make life a little easier. So I hope you like it. Uh, and as I play with it, I will uh, endeavour to do a few more videos and let you know how we're getting on with it. Hope it's of interest. Bye for now.